Hey, and welcome back to Crazy Gamers Games and Model Making. Yes, this box is huge. I am not zoomed in. I am zoomed all the way out, and I am as high as my tripod can go. This is the, the 124th scale Airfix Hawker Typhoon Mark 1B with the car door style. So this is going to be part of a YouTube build along with another channel that will talk about in greater detail at another time but right now I'm just gonna go over what's in the kit and then talk about some of the upgrade kits that I was sent for it this was supplied to me by another channel for this build along so we're gonna take a look inside well first let's look at the box here basically we have some information that's going on that side same thing on that side and then Upside down you have four different marking options and on the back you have more detail, the marking options and some of the detail that can be exposed in this kit. So let us take a look inside here. Now, I'm going to lift the camera up so you can get a full size that's my dining room table it's on it is round but it almost fills the dining room table this um this box and it is packed full of sprues so let me set this back up Not too much bumping so we're going to take a look at all these sprues here uh, take a look at the clear plastic here well I don't know if I'm going to show you all the sprues. I'm going to look. Let's, let's see if we can find the book. Yeah, let's, let's pull out the book here. Because this is a lot of sprues, and I don't want to bore you with a extra long video. Plus, the book's sealed. So, we're going to open that up. We'll just take a quick peek at the sprues to make sure nothing's damaged so I can get a hold of Airfix in case something is going on. Now, let's, here's the decals. They did get a little bent in the book, but that's what they look like. This is for the car door version. Decals there. Sheet back on. That up there. Now later I'll be reviewing the resin upgrade, some resin upgrades for this, but I don't have that stuff yet. So basically we got information, information. Um, you got option one, two, and three. Option one looks like everything's opened up, including the car door cockpit. All the guns are exposed. The engine is exposed all the way around. And then um, all the way around the engine's exposed, and this one just has the top of the engine off and the weapons, the weapon doors exposed, and this one has basically everything buttoned up, ready to fly. That must be in an uh, option one. Oh, these are the same. Appears must be a, a in another language to explain it. Okay, and then it has us starting with the um the cockpit, which is typical in planes that I noticed. Well, this looks like the frame around the cockpit. This looks pretty framey, like a lot of airframe, which is nice. A lot of detail on that airframe. So. It's got color call outs on it. A lot of detail. Looks like a lot of detail on the. Wow, a lot of detail showing you where things go. Oh, look, it even has a choice of a pilot to put the pilot in there or not. I have some really nice seat belts, so I don't know if I'll be putting the pilot in. You have an option to put a motor in there to spin the prop. This is my first Airfix kit, by the way. I've never built an Airfix kit. So this would be, uh, I was highly recommended to do this 
build along. It'd be perfect for someone new to Airfix. So I agreed to participate. I sent me a kit here. I'm here I'm reviewing it. Oh, apparently here is wheel landing gear down are up, and then this is landing gear down. So you got to pay attention to how you're building it. You want to make sure that you're doing landing gear down pictures. So maybe I'll go through and mark it with a highlighter what I'm doing and not mark the landing gear up ones or cross them out. Um, and then we have some guns here that go in it. Looks like some machine guns. Like I said, I have some resin metal upgrade guns that are coming. Some more um, housings for the guns, some more wing work. So, fuselage going together, engine. And this is showing you the engine open. Um, so see, this is an engine option with it, the cover open. I might do something with magnets so I can put the cover on and off. I don't know. I'm pretty good with magnets sometimes. So, and then here's with the weapon base open. You can see in there with the ammunition. That's going to look awesome. So, and then now we're talking landing gear. Oh, the landing gear, ba landing gear bays look pretty detailed. And then the flaps, which I believe in my big ed, there's some upgrade flaps. And here's with all the bombs. Uh, pylons, fuel tanks, things like that. Um, the propellers, gun sight. Here's that car door type style. Um, this looks like the seat belts, but we have some different seat belts. And here's a paint scheme, the decals for the instrument. And here's the different color schemes and then position of common stencil data. Again, I'm not sure what the whole stencil thing is. Please someone tell me. All right, people like to see what the clear looks like, so let's open up a clear here. Let's just take a look at what this clear looks like here. We're gonna leave it wrapped up when we're done here. See what we got. Boom. Oh, the instrument panel's clear. Look at that. Wasn't expecting that. Clear instrument panel. Clear parts. Oh, they look crystal. Wow. They look wow. Clear, 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 clear. This must be some corner lights for the wings. Oh, I don't want to touch those anymore. back in the foam. Sorry guys, I know you don't want to see me put these in the foam, but I really don't want them scratched up. I plan on putting my heart and soul into this build. So, I put my heart and soul into all my builds, but this one, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not, with my tank builds, you know, I can dirty it up, cover it in rust and mud and things like this. But this will be me doing a, you know, well-maintained aircraft. So that's going to be a new experience for me. But I've been doing practice in airbrushing and um, I've been more comfortable airbrushing more things. Whereas before I would just minimally try to airbrush. But... And I'm better at cleaning my airbrush, which helps a lot. Just before, I would spend 30, 40 minutes trying to clean my airbrush. It would still be dirty. But I figured out some techniques. So, let's see here. Another clear sprue. And let's see what we got here. Wrapped up twice. Look at that. And then there we go. We got some... Oh, there's that fancy car door. Look at that. All clear. Definitely hope we have some masks for that. I did. I do have the Big Ed um, upgrade kit for this, and I'm hoping it comes with masks because that looks like it would be difficult to mask.
Also, I'm experimenting with liquid mask too. I haven't used that in the past, and I'm trying it. So here we go. Here is um, there's some wheels. I'm not gonna take them out because they're all have to be cut, and I currently have a small pair of scissors. Poor planning on my part. I'm sorry, but we'll show you this. We'll show you the upgrade kit in detail. Um, this this one has two sprues. Um, looks like some wing pieces, things like that. Um, here's fuselage and part of the lower wing assembly. So you figure it's going to be about that long, about 13, 14 inches. Um, there we go. More wheel parts, little parts, engine parts, a lot of engine parts. So. Wow, look at this sprue. Wow, look at the length on that sprue. Wow. I don't know if you can see how long that sprue is. That sprue is just long. Wow. Probably the longest sprue I've ever seen. Here's another sprue that's super long. Wow, I just, I've never seen sprues that long. Sorry. Uh, here's, uh, these look like upper wing halves. Upper wing sections. This looks like another long double sprue. Looks like your pylons, your bombs, your props, three different nose cones. That's oh, three different nose cones. Look at that. Looks like your rails for mounting it. Looks like here's all your bombs and missiles and all your goodies. I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna load this bad boy out. It's my favorite part of it is the bombs and the missiles. And another incredibly long sprue. This one has a pilot on it also. I believe there is another one with a pilot. Yeah. So you got another pilot right here. So it looks like you have two pilots. That's strange. Oh. I want you to have the options apparently. Looks like this is rich in options. I'm seeing different wheels and things like that. Different wheel options and whatnot. Okay, so look. Now let's take a look at the big, big Ed set. This comes with some seat belts, um, an engine upgrade kit, a flap upgrade kit, an interior upgrade kit, a wing armament upgrade kit, and some mask. And this also, I put this in here last night because I opened it to make sure every, nothing was damaged. Um, I also have the seat belts, the textile seat belts from, um, oh, who is this from? HGW Models. So we'll look at those first, but there are these cloth uh, cloth textile type seat belts. Um, if you want to see a great review on these and someone putting these together, check out Nigel's modeling bench. He puts a set of these in his um, Airfix Hellcat, and the man has skills. The man is incredibly, incredibly talented. I just. I really wish I could do half of what he does, um, but I give it my best. So this is your seat belts, and then we have the seat belt kit that comes with the big Ed set. This is metal. If I mess that one up, I guess this is my option. So, and then we have the die cut flexible mask, and then here is the rear flaps. So this will give it some nice weight in the back and some nice detail on the flaps. That's that. Uh, landing flaps. And then this is the wing armament. It's got the brackets for the different weapons to hold the different weapons onto the um, onto the onto the plane. And it has some, you know, some photo etch to add to. It looks like the ribbing and things like that. So there's that. And then this is the interior kit. This has your cockpit instruments on it. 
which looks like it's in multitude of pieces. So a lot of gauges, knobs, and stuff got to be glued on there. Um, I'm not quite sure how this fits on the clear. Because this looks more like it's the interior for the sides of the, um, the aircraft and not the actual instrument panel. I'll have to look into that. In fact, let's, let's take a look and see if it's the actual instrument panel. And something fell out. That's the clear acetate. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it does it does do a little bit to the instrument panel, but it mostly does the sides of the the thing. So I'm gonna look to see if there's an instrument panel kit, maybe air scale or um Edward has another kit that's just the instrument panel. I don't know why this one wouldn't do the instrument panel, I'm not sure. So I am not a huge fan of decals. And then this is detail for the engine. You have a small sprue or a small fret of photo etch here. And then you have a larger fret of photo etch here. Um, ribbings, this is for engine detail, detailing out the engine, you know, the front on it, things like that. So that's the big Ed kit. We looked at the seat belts and we looked at the Typhoon. Sorry I didn't open all the bags. It's just, it just would have been a lot of noisy plastic and cutting with my small scissors. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for when I do this uh, build along for this. And also um, get ready to vote for my, my build along I'm doing on my channel alone um, of either a plane, an aircraft, or a tank. I got a 1 16th, two 1 16th tanks to choose from, some 35th tanks to choose from, um, a 32 scale, 132 scale aircraft, a 148 scale aircraft. You'll see all the reviews for them on the channel and then I'll do a choosing video and you guys can pick what I'm going to do and build along on the channel. So that's it for Crazy Gamer Games. I'm the Crazy Gamer. Have a great day.